You gonna try to do a close up on candy still? Or do you need it? If you wanna cut the time down a little bit. What, what is this with everybody? No, 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 no. This is exactly like Twitter. And anyone who just does their thing and happens to have Twitter in front of them is going to be open to this. Now, last uh, summer, when I um, pointed out in a few blog posts that the Canon R5 overheating may not quite be all it seems with the possibly fake timer. Uh, I got, got into quite a storm on Twitter with the Canon fanboys over that. And then at one point I made an innocent joke. It's quite funny, in my opinion, about Philip Bloom's kittens being rescued by a fireman from one of his shoots with the EOS R5. Now, it was completely made up um, I'm pretty sure Philip is a Sony shooter anyway, so it was completely made up, comic book in style. It wasn't actually his cats in the photo on the meme, and it was a, a meme. So anyway, a few days later, I noticed the registration on the EOS HD forum, and it was somebody using the name of Philip Bloom. It even had a picture of Philip Bloom. So for this is just a spam account. This can't be the man himself. And the first comment was trying to shame me in public for making this joke about the cats. Uh, I just pressed delete on it because um, you know, it's probably my first mistake, actually. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm serious. But I genuinely thought that it was a spam account that had just been set up by a troll to make trouble. Now, the story gets dark at this point on Twitter, uh, where everyone likes to have their say. Philip Bloom painted me as some kind of animal cruelty guy. It was a most bizarre accusation, really. And in response, I got a bit angry, because here I was, taking the blame for the Canon R5 from the fanboys, at the same time as getting it in the neck for a joke about cats. I was very angry. And I may have, at this, at this point, I was very angry. Fucking A, man. It drives me nuts. Who gives a fucking shit? And I may, have, at this point, have pointed out something that had happened controversial at the, at, to the maximum that happened involving Philip Bloom in the past. I'm not going to go there. However, at this point, when I was being attacked by Philip Bloom on, on the internet, I felt the urge to make the point that I am not the villain here. I find the whole situation pretty disgusting. Now, at this point, uh, we had a lot of comments on the cat cruelty accusations. From Paul here, Andrew is a cancer. He's trying to drive traffic and clicks through rage, aggression and sensationalism. Fighting him is what builds his sight. It's best to just ignore him and let his sight wither and die on its own. And I think after losing a thousand followers, that's pretty much what's happened. Pets are family. End of story. You cross them and it's Sinora, baby. Do we have to be polite with a default product designed for obs obsolescence that costs 4000 oh, That's something about the EOS R5 there. Not sure who EOS HD is, but that looks like I'll never find out. That's a bit ominous, isn't it? Was I going to be bumped off the next day or something? He banned me. He banned me when I wrote he's anti-YouTube people. You have to agree with EOS HD because he can't accept others' opinions. Not when they're fucking bullshit. Of course, Andrew and his behaviour is the problem. Not the, not the other stuff. The other stuff buried never happened, okay? 
sort of an online ego problem. I'm the one with the ego problem, Philip. Just remember that. And this totally disqualifies him. But let's not forget that there are so many really nice people out there in the circle jerk. Out there, we should concentrate on them, smiley face. The sponsors will surely not care. He's correct on that point. That guy is such a waste. He needs to grow up and get a real job. I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be pissed if someone took a picture of my kids or family just to make a meme out of it for the internet to laugh at. So ju just to be clear, the pictures were not of his cats, okay? J they were not of his cats. It was a stock picture of some kittens from, uh, from Google. Why even ask him to not use your cat photo? It was fair use. And you do take everything online too seriously and personal. Come on, I don't even like EOS HD. But here I think he did nothing wrong. Finally, even somebody too stupid to understand what's happened has sided with me. That makes, makes a big change. But the... I'd like to just point out again that this was not a picture of Philip Bloom's cats being rescued from a real fire caused by a real EOS R5. And I did not make it for clicks. I made it because I thought it was funny and I'm pretty insane. Sorry you have had to endure this garbage as a cat lover. I know how you feel. It's clear you love not just your cats, but all cats. Based on your wonderful film, you are a good man. I hope he comes to his senses and stops this. I'm sorry you're dealing with that, Phil. You don't deserve that. I'm probably on the mute list. I really try to avoid. Calling Andrew's website honest, laughing face. The man sells in-camera settings. Adjustment instructions, which he says increase dynamic range. That's honest. He's literally ripping people off, and he knows it. And that's just one example. All he cares for is the attention. <laughs> Man, Philip Bloom, you're too kind, still willing to maintain dialogue with that guy. Next time, please go John Wick on morons who attack these innocent cats for no apparent reason. And that one's got nine likes on it. Now, I wouldn't mind that if this bullshit was contained offset, like it is in David Lynch's case. He is still on the set, in the centre of the action. And the bullshit, if he wants it to go away, he just fires them. I unfortunately can't do that. And my reputation has pretty much been wrecked through telling the truth about things. I remember when Leica told me off for the, the battery article. They were very unhappy at first by email before the PR offensive began. And the guy specifically, the product manager for the Leica SL2, said that I had a reputation in the industry. Whatever that means. Or oh, what, a reputation for telling the truth about cameras that don't work properly? Is that, is that what I've got? Is that the problem here? Or is the problem that I don't want to be friends with people that I intensely dislike? Maybe I've got a reputation for not being a fucking cocksucker. He's such a strange, angry little man. I feel like Andrew's website is one of the most valuable and honest sources of camera information out there. It's actually quite difficult to find honest camera information online, as so many media sources have close relationships with manufacturers and gloss over negatives.
we know we we know love your cats like kids says cody and if someone jokes about my kids especially with that image like you said lower in the thread it's a shame since andrew's bringing up important topics surrounding the eos r5 andrew don't muddy the waters remove the joke and please apologize leave toxic blogs content and people behind you and keep on doing what you love that's why we follow you not because you are liked by weirdos like eos hd pitch emoticon of a son can I just say, I don't like the guy. I've met him at camera shows. He's got an intolerable ego problem, in my opinion. The, the like that I have for Philip Bloom never went beyond uh, being polite in person at shows. That was it. I was never friends with the guy. And I never had, really, anything much to do with him. Through the abuse, I do occasionally get some friendly remarks. And all these months, after this ridiculous shaming, online shaming happened, I had one guy just recently who still follows the blog say that people always bitch about you when you're making the complaints about the cameras and Pointing out problems with people's beloved brand, the religion. But people never thank you when the firmware to fix the problem comes out later. You don't mess with another man's cats. <laughs>